Everyone can hear my noodles. Uh, can everyone hear Rich's noodles? Oh, <sighs> noodles. Yeah, we're, we're coming up. We're, we're we are up now. We're, we're coming up. Hooray! We did it this time. We were up a we couple have, minutes ago. We have game. I have ad playing in my ear, which is unacceptable because I'm talking to you. There we go. Right. Sound is off. I'm I'm good to go. Great. We were we were up a little bit ago. Uh, I get for Shakmas. Does it what count? What the fuck? What? Uh, spooky Dookie. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> we really appreciate it. Also, I enjoy your name, Spooky. Dookie. Still love that name. Yeah. Still love that name. It's very funny. Um, does it count as a Shakma if it's not our technical difficulty? What the fuck? That's the question. No. The no. real Quaid. Thank you for subscribing the past four months now. We very I, much appreciate it. I think there's a separate what one for Twitch fuck? problems. Oh, okay, okay. Oh, Sean of Noise. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's true. We what do. the fuck? Whoa. Uh, the Ocho Knows, thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Also, Telegon. Both the Ocho what Knows the and the fuck? Telegon have been with us for seven months. Lowly Battle Machine 322. 322. Thank you for subscribing. What the We really fuck? appreciate it. <laughs> Five months in a row. Hey, gobbledygooks. Thank you for subscribing for the past seven months. We really, really what the appreciate fuck? it. So, Jack. What? I noticed in the past podcast. Yeah. The Order 1886 stream. Yeah. Says no audio. Audio for portions of this has been cut out. Yes. And I know for portions. What the there, fuck? Oh, oh uh, the Ed Witten. Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Some of the audio has been muted due to copyright claims from the Order 1886. Um. If you skip ahead, I want to say it's like around the three-minute mark the audio starts, and then it'll cut out here and there. But mo it's mostly there. But that's game audio. That's so weird. Isn't it? Isn't it weird? Ugh. Fuck them. <laughs> you know, it's fine. It's fine. Everything's fine. Uh, oh, I saw Alejandrox. Alejandrox uh, wants to know the RLM email address. Because Alejandrox is is making a space cop spelunky mod. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> uh, which is something I'm really excited about. But first of all, Dong Atley, thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Uh, and you can say that. What the fuck? <laughs> uh, bowl. bowl of special K. <laughs> thank you for subscribing. <laughs> don't, what the fuck? Don't talk with We really bowl. appreciate it. You as well, Space Camo. Thank you for subscribing. Um, you can send that to previously recorded dot rlm at gmail dot com. That is an email that we check. We have an official at Red Letter Media email that I don't have access to, and I don't think Rich does either. We should get access to that. But for now, previously recorded dot rlm at gmail is the one we check. That's also the email for our official previously recorded Steam profile. For anyone on that. But so do that. Um, so uh, Rich was going to play tonight, but we were working very hard on the very special ending to our next uh, previously recorded episode and, and my back started bothering me. And Rich hurt his back. So <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to come home and 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 pamper my back a bit, take a nice warm shower, do some stretches, yeah, take it easy before before you know my back flirted a full blown sciatica or something fucked up. I don't know. Right. My back terrifies me now. Your back. I had like you. sciatica last summer. Mm -hmm. It was like two months of excruciating pain. Every time I sat down or walked. Yeah. Uh, Oh, it was horrible. <laughs> um, so, but the the end what of the, the episode fuck? should be incredibly fun. But it's gonna it, it's gonna take a while. It's probably gonna take longer to film this ending than it did than it took to film the actual episode. So. <laughs> uh, you know what? 
longer than it took to play the game. Longer than it took. <laughs> yes, it will take longer to film. Oh wait, hold on. What is that? RMT four. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It will take us longer to make this ending than it will have taken us to play the game The Order, which is something I'm really, really excited about. <laughs> hmm. Rich actually did the thing where he screamed for 30 seconds every time he sat down or got up. You know, it was close to that. Yeah. You know, back back when my back was flaring up. Yeah. Back when I back when I had sciatica, full blown. Yeah. That's what when the, uh, the next gen cast were 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 having a that that get together that show in uh, Chicago. Oh, okay. For the, for the Wizard World, and so it was like you know I had excruciating pain, but I wanted to go to that just because I thought it might be my only chance to see you know the next gen crew. Oh yeah. So I I went despite my sciatica, and I was like screaming. I was literally screaming in pain for most of the car <laughs> ride down there. Oh, 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 I'm so sorry. It was. It was really stupid to go. <laughs> it was really stupid to go. Oh, um, I mean, you know. But I, I now live in terror that I'm going to have to go through that again. A sciatica? Yeah, oh yeah. Uh, I'm with you. Uh, I'm not fully with you just because I've never had that, but listen, back... Back problems are back problems, you know. Uh, <laughs> okay, great. I just tweeted. I was uh, multitasking, tweeting while talking. And um, Mr. Shy Smile gets no shout out. Did he get a shout out? Did I, did I? Did we miss a what the fuck while we were chatting? Mr. Shy Smile, <laughs> thank you for subscribing. We Mi really appreciate it. Mr. Shy Smile, our newest moderator, gets no love because he's our newest moderator. <laughs> Even now. What That's the okay. Fuck? Your choices. Yeah, I'm sorry. I was talking about my crippling back pains. <laughs> um, but I'm sorry. We didn't say your name. I'm sorry. <laughs> Butter. What the fuck? Buttermilk biscuits. Buttermilk biscuits. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. <laughs> also, the binary sun. Thank you for subscribing. <laughs> okay, so this is Hand of Fate. This is a game I have been playing and really enjoying. We, I played this last week, or the week before. I played this sometime. Do you know when I? Do you remember when I played this? I don't remember. This is last Sunday, I think. I played this last Sunday, and I have been playing it on and off, uh, and really enjoying it. I've gotten a little farther. Oh, I can't. I can't. VR. Chat only mode. Great. Sorry, I need to. You want me to? You want me to talk about? It's okay. Go ahead. You need to what? What are you doing? What? What are you doing? What? Are you, what? What's you doing? Of returning. What are you doing? Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Go ahead. Talk about what? Well, two things. Rich, what are your oh, thoughts on the Homeworld games? I love everything about it, other than the fact that it's a real-time strategy game. I love the fact that you play around with this ships. I love the stories. I, I, it's a great-looking game. I uh, love, love playing around with spaceships. Don't like real-time strategy. So, so I like everything about that game, other than that. The, <laughs> the, the other big news I saw somebody mention, and I'm, you know, get this, bring this up, take care of it, get out of the way. Uh, Leonard Nimoy died. Yes. And, um... Uh, what I have to say about that, I, I did a little tribute at the beginning of the next episode that Jack is almost certainly not going to edit out because now I have publicized it. <laughs> Rich. So now, you know, I don't, I don't, I don't think Jack is going to cut that out of the episode I, now. No, you asked me not to. I won't. Okay. R uh, for the, for I, knew, the... I knew you were going to because you don't, you don't give a shit. I you're, don't. You're a next gen. You're a next gen guy. You, you never, you never really watched the original series. So yep. you don't, you know, it's not the same to you. No, no, absolutely not the same to me. And, and we can talk about that. This is the very first time that Rich has ever demanded Gave a fuck that about I anything? keep something in the episode. Where he said, uh, it, was, it was it's was a very... Spock! Yeah, I don't care about that. I'm sure Leonard Nimoy was a great guy. I'm, I'm sure. And I know that the original Star Trek meant a lot to a lot of people. But it's like, just to me, you know... A person died, an actor died. It just doesn't mean that much to me. 
but I, mm-hmm. I will keep it in. It was it's small. It's very simple. Oh yeah, subtle. It's, it's very subtle, and so it's just you know. I just don't. I you know there there are people who have passed away that have meant something to me. You know, Leonard Nimoy was. I I what I'm saying is I understand your feelings of Leonard Nimoy. But 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 I, I am them. I am still I'm still what rich heavens. Fuck? So <laughs> so I'm gonna do this. Yeah. Uh, everybody, let's take bets. Who is the next original series cast member to die? Who's left? For you if you win. You don't even know who's left? Well, there's Takei. Takei is left. Shatner. Uh, Uhura is left. Uhura. You don't know Uhura's name. Check off. No, Wait, Chekhov's Michelle gone. Nichols? Chekhov's gone. He's not gone. Isn't Chekhov gone? No. Oh. You're thinking of Scotty. Scotty's gone. Shatner. I'm I'm going with uh, Michelle Nichols. Yeah. Sulu still looks like he's in pretty decent shape. Shatner still looks like he's in pretty decent shape. Mm-hmm. Uh, actually, you know what? Walter Cohen is him. He looks pretty bad. It might be. I'm, you know what? I'm gonna change that. Yeah. Who's Walter Cohen? It's, it's gonna be Chekhov. Chekhov. Chekhov, okay. Chekhov looks like crap. Chekhov. So Chekhov is my vote for next. <laughs> okay. Okay, that's fine. Oh, nasty. I lose the food. Um, I saw. I saw fat, someone. One way. Go. Oh, go fat ahead. is a shape. Yes, I know. I know William Shatner is fat, but like. Old people die when they get really skinny. It's like they don't eat much anymore and they waste away. Yeah. <laughs> right? I think I think I think seeing a fat old person, I think that's a good sim- a sign. I mm. think that's a good sign. Uh yeah, I think I agree what with you. What the that. fuck? I think I agree with you. Um Medi Morst. Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. I saw someone ask like who who was someone that passed that was like important to me. And that like, might be that as that oh, after oh, we had oh. the chat the, the Nimoy discussion. That is that is true, yeah. Uh, and l- like recently, uh, Robin Williams uh, was a, a very important person to me growing up. Uh, I, you know, like comedy. I'm a comedian. Uh, I was compared to him a lot growing up, and so when he him passing, especially for depression reasons, was was a uh, that that hit me. That hit me close to home, so. Who who's that again? Robin I Williams. Well, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. You know. Yeah, I actually you know what I remember that conversation. Yeah, of course it was. Yeah, and then so I, it's you know I'm I'm, I'm I was talking to you about this. Yeah, you were talking to me about this. Oh no, well I saw it in the for, chat too. For me, the one that really bugged me, George Carlin. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure that's the right? I'm a comedian. I'm technically a comedian. I make funny videos. Yeah, so I think they're funny. You don't have to think they're funny. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, great. I think they're funny. That's all that matters. Hey, we have a first time viewer, Rich. First time pre rec viewer, long time RLM fan. Well, welcome. Welcome. We we just we play games and gibber about stuff. You're not missing much. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, okay, Rich. The why, gods. Why does half an? Yeah, go ahead. The gods of the old religion are powerful yet unpredictable. Pray to them. Do you do you pray to them? Okay, I pray to them. What the fuck? We got a what the fuck. A choice. Select. Success. Desire. We success. Oh, can can you read that? I I missed that. What the fuck? Can you read that? Well, I oh what oh the what the fuck? Smelter, Wedgenaphilus, Wedgenalfris, something. Hold on, hold on. Smelter, Wedge in all of us. Ooh. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Smelter, Wedge in all of us. Yep. Ooh. It's disgusting. It's just disgusting. Dr. Forrester! Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It's true, we do. I just got a great blessing card. For every kill that I get with an axe, I get three health. 
Mm-hmm. That's a great card. I, and I have a mace. My axe is a little less powerful than my mace, but having that health bonus is worth it. I think. All right. Now, you know in this game with the cards? Yeah. When they, you know, the, the, the success and fail cards? Yes. You do know you can follow the cards, right? That's not, when you they can... flip, that's not just an illusion. They, you really can follow the card with your eye. You can you can follow you a that, couple right? of them, you know, like the the yeah. top one, the top one you can follow, and you can kind of figure out which one is which. Yeah, but I mean, but then sometimes <clears> they <throat> multiple they shuffle multiple times. Um, so yes, I do know that, but they're hard to keep track of sometimes. It's not it's not entirely related, but I'm I'm gonna hit you with some some fun math stuff. Oh no! Oh, that's right. right. That's right. Rich is really into math today. <clears throat> <laughs> have have you heard of the Monty Hall problem? The Monty Hall problem. Mo- Monty Hall. Have I ever heard of Monty Hall? Is he a, he's an old TV guy? You don't you don't know who Monty Hall is? I'm, that's what I'm trying to remember. Okay. He was he was a game show host. There we go. And uh, you know he was uh, the, the host of Let's Make a Deal. Okay. One of the one of the things they had on Let's Make a Deal was like you know do you want to choose between door number one, door number two, or door number three, right? Yeah. And, like, you know, between... It, it, behind one of the doors is a car, right? And then behind, like, the other two doors, they'd have, like, like an actual, like, goat. <laughs> right, right. Uh, a... it's like, like a joke prize. It's not a prize. <laughs> right. And, you know, you'd, you'd say, you know, uh, uh, door number one. I want door number one. <laughs> and then, um, for, for dramatic purposes, after you choose your door... Monty would take one of the other doors, mm-hmm. and he'd show you one of the goats. Right, right. And he'd say, "Do you, do you want? Do you want? Do you still want door number one? Do you want to change your answer?" And I was like, <laughs> no, "It's like, it the tension." Right. Sir, here's the question: Does odds wise, what do you do? Do you change your answer or not? So there's. Does it make a difference? There's three. Do- well, first of all, no fear, no envy. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Um, so there's three doors, and you there's know, three doors. and you there's know a, one of them is a goat. goat. Behind two of them, yeah, and one of them has a car. So you choose a door, yeah. Then he shows you one of the goats, yeah, and offers to let you choose again. Sure, that, I mean, but but that wouldn't change that wouldn't change your odds at all because you you at that wrong. Point, you at, it's it's like. It took me forever to wrap my brain around this because it seems so counterintuitive. You think, well, say yeah, you see the one, but it's still the same. No, no. All apparently statistically, I've seen this done in like a video, and I've I've like just tested it myself. It was so weird. Yeah. Always change your answer. Why? You double your odds. Because when you when you pick the first time, there's two goats and one car, right? Right. When you pick one of those doors. There is a two-thirds chance of picking a goat. Right? Right. So the odds are you got it wrong to begin with. Right. So then he reveals one of the goats. Right. So you know where you know for sure where one of the goats is after he reveals it. And the most likely one you chose in the first place was a goat. If you switch doors, you get a car two thirds of the time. Mm, sh- uh, I, okay, I mean, listen, if that's what the math says, <laughs> uh, that's that's fine. It's just, it's after he reveals the goat, you have a 50-50 chance. No. <laughs> okay. You have a two-thirds chance. There's videos on this, and they explain it, and it might make better sense. I Listen, but I believe you. I'm never going to be on Don't Make a Deal, or Let's Make a Deal. <laughs> So what what I've been doing in this game, and believe it or not, I, it kind of works. So it doesn't really fit in with the money hall problem because they don't reveal one of the failures. But I, I pick a card, and I just assume I picked wrong, mm-hmm. and then I pick another one because I figure, you know, odds are I picked wrong the first time. Right. I'm sure. I'm sure that doesn't work at all. I'm sure I'm wrong for doing that. But it seems to be. It seems to work out for me. Okay. I mean, it's not the same because you don't, they don't reveal one of the failure cards after you choose, you know? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Rich is right. He's just doing a bad job of explaining it. Yes, you're right. You're <laughs> absolutely right. <laughs> this is true. Jack, but, Jack doesn't care about Leonard a... Nimoy's death or old people game shows. This is two things that Jack doesn't care about. 
I don't know. I, I don't I don't understand it. Link me to the video, Rich. Yeah, I, I I'll let me I'll look for it. There's probably several. Link link me to the the math video. Ooh, thank you, Alejandrox. I will uh, I will see if I can get that running. Alejandrox just linked us to the mod. Just email. oh, okay, cool. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm checking my email right now. Oh, I got it. Thank you. Jack ain't too bright. Jack ain't too bright. You know that about me already, though. There's no need to say it. Math is this wonderful thing. Rich and I were talking about math earlier and how much we love math. Math, math is the only real truth. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> math math is, is, is wonderful. I don't like it. No. I have made my wager. Check. I'm putting a link to one of the videos I've seen to the money hall problem on the chat right okay. now. Okay, I'm going to save it. I just did it. That is why you, okay. I just did it. I'm going to save it. Fasting. All right, I got it. Have a way of focusing the mind. I got it. Traveling healer. Approach the shop. I can buy some food. Uh, do you get to keep the goat? Wasn't that... Like a joke is that? No, no, it was a joke. I'm pretty sure you didn't get to keep the goal. No, but wasn't there a thing where, like, oh, that was like the the radio contest where they were like, one of their dummy prizes was an elephant, and yeah. the person who won the dummy prize insisted on keeping the elephant. That's what that Simpsons it's episode was it's, based it's, off. It's of. not the first time that's happened. You remember uh, Pepsi points? Pepsi points? Something they did in the eighties. It was like Pepsi points. Collect the Pepsi points and you turn them in. You get a prize. Sure. They had like a you know fancy fifty Pepsi points. You get a radio. Seventy five Pepsi points. You get a bike. And then as a joke at the end of the commercial, mm -hmm. they showed a Harrier jet, and they said <laughs> one million points. <laughs> and some smartass figured out that, you know, one million Pepsi points Win will get this. you a relatively cheap Harrier jet. Oh, sure, sure. So they, they sued Pepsi for their Harrier jet. I don't remember how that lawsuit ended, but it happened. Great. That's really funny. That is really funny. No, that was a Simpsons episode, but the Simpsons episode was based off of a real-life complaint. In, the, in real life, the person probably didn't get an actual elephant, but that's what the Simpsons episode was based off of. Like most Simpsons episodes. I'm just doing a little, oh, by the way, for anyone who doesn't know, like, I, right now I'm not playing the story mode, I'm playing endless mode, and basically all what I'm trying to do fuck? is unlock more cards, and so I'm taking big risks, like I'm doing right now. I'm fighting- Dr. Talos, thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Somebody's saying that the Pepsi guy got a cash settlement. Yeah. Pepsi could not legally buy a Harrier jet. From the US <laughs> <laughs> That's really funny. Mm. Stampy. That's right. Another of my servants fulfills his duty. Rich, did you see a Ronda Rousey fight last night? Uh no. No, I don't I don't even know what that is. Is that wrestling? I don't... Probably not wrestling. That doesn't sound I think, like a I think I saw movie. something for that on, like, Yahoo News or was something, it, and it, I think she's a Ultimate Fighter champion. I don't... Oh, was that the MMA fight that lasted, like, eight seconds? It was something like, like that. Like, the, the women's heavyweight MMA fight that lasted, like, 20 milliseconds? Mm -hmm. UFC mm -hmm. fight. Thank you. Great. 14-second knockout. That's That's what you get sometimes. I I saw live the Mike Tyson versus Evander or not Mike Tyson versus Evander Holyfield. What was the Mike Tyson fight where he knocked out the guy in in That was half of his fights. <laughs> no, but it was a big one. It was like it was like George Foreman or Holyfield or something like that. You know Tyson? Yeah. Uh Sphinx, Leon Sphinx. Is that what it was? Yeah, yeah. I saw that live at my uncle's house, and he did the whole pay-per-view thing, and you know, was super excited. It had like a huge party, and ev everyone was so pissed. It was funny. Also, to the the person in the chat explaining that it's a fifty percent chance in the money hall problem, watch the video. It's more than fifty. <laughs> it's like it, it's like two thirds. It it makes I I Get understand what you're saying because at. F 
That you are, first, you are most it, the only likely... thing that matters is that that first pick. Right. That first pick, you have a two-thirds chance to pick a goat. Once they reveal the other goat, Useful. It, the, it, it's the other way around. It's a two-third right. chance to get the goat. Because you probably got the goat with the two-thirds, and once you got the goat, they revealed the other goat. The only other possibility is the car. Right. It may, it kind of makes sense, but st like all, uh, like the other way to look at it though is after the goat is shown, you have a fifty fifty chance of being right. But like but you I said, mean, that that two third chance to pick a goat in the first place because the other option is limited. It ends up being a right. two third chance to get a car because picking a goat means getting a car. Right. If you change. I can do this. I can do this. <laughs> Oh, this one, yeah. I can I can definitely do this. Um I can definitely do this. Uh Jack is playing this. Jack no, I still don't understand. Rich linked me to the video. I saved it. I'll watch it later. Uh I'm playing. This is Hand of Fate. It's a deck building game that features Batman Arkham Asylum style combat. And it's a game that I've really, really been enjoying in my free time. It actually makes me want to play more Batman because now I feel like I understand the combat better. <laughs> if that makes any sense. Crocodile Brain still thinks it's a 50% chance. That's why you're Crocodile Brain. <laughs> Try being a Lion Brain. All yeah. right. No, no, it's it's really counterintuitive. I couldn't wrap my head around it at first, too. I thought, well, it's got to be. It's 50. Of course it's of 50. Course it's got to be. Of course I, it's you know, 50. I, I watch the videos, and it makes sense now. <laughs> Did you ever play that game called Kingdom Hearts where you use the cards to fight? That uh, I played Kingdom Hearts where you what fight with Mickey fuck? Mouse. Does that count? Paul Verhoeven. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Jack and Rich, have either of you ever had a mullet hairdo? No. <clears throat> well, I can't speak for Jack. Me, no. <laughs> Do you wanna, Jack? Have you ever have you ever had a mullet? Do you wanna? Do you this, wanna this is the exciting questions we get on the show. Hey, hey Rich, <laughs> you want some real talk here? <laughs> yeah. You, you want some? You, you had a mullet. I had a rat tail. What the fuck? Oh movie. my god! <laughs> that is <laughs> that's disgusting. The dude, 1944. <laughs> Thank you for subscribing. I. As most of you know, grew up in the country. Uh, and a lot of kids had rat tails, and so they were cool. Chick, I, you grew up on a farm is your excuse for everything. I had I had no contact with the outside <laughs> world. <laughs> I will see if I can find a picture of me with a rat tail. It exists. I had a rat tail. It, it never got very long, I'll tell you that. But, <laughs> you know, listen, when you're a kid, you don't know any better. And a token if you succeed. I had it, I had it maybe for like a year or so. I don't remember exactly. Bef way, like well before I was a teenager. Oh, one night you are captured by lizard men and brought before their king. You are stripped of your equipment and must choose an opponent to fight in their underground arena. I'm going to fight the two of them. So wait, do I not get an axe? I don't think I've ever you fought get, without you, my axe. You get like the cheapest possible axe. Oh, you get like the rusty axe. The rusty axe. Oh, okay. And that's it. Okay, I only have two dudes to fight, so I can do this. You know, I really like the, the the kick stun when you don't have your shield. That feels that feels really cool. Get out of here, dude! Yeah, I did it. The more I learn about Jack, the more scared I become. You should. 
<laughs> oh, I never fought on that raised lava platform before. Yeah, it's neat. That's exciting. You know, the I was I was talking about this game with Rich a little bit earlier, and uh, I want to say I'm like eight, nine hours in, and it's just getting to the point now where some of the levels, some of the guys are starting to become a little monotonous. I'm only halfway through the story mode, and so I can see this being like a solid 20 hour game and being done with it but i've been really really enjoying it i i purchased the game off of steam i mean not steam i mean uh, gog yeah game is available off of gog mm -hmm. so i you know i now have the game with with no drm issues it's my game i can install <laughs> it when i want I just got a backup copy of it on our uh -huh. spare hard drive yeah. uh -huh. Uh -huh. and uh i i'm i'm I, I can I can see myself going over twenty hours. I could see it, but I, I like just knowing me and knowing how I get over games. I want that healing cap. Pretty um, good at sucking. It's the game's pretty good at sucking. I was watching you play it, and I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I mean, I but then I when I actually played it myself, I'm like, oh, this this just this works. It does. This card thing works. It really does. And and the the card thing. This is something we talked about during our what we're playing now episode when we were talking about like why roguelike games work like this and because you get these little rewards you know like when you unlock a new card when you unlock just a challenge even if you die you get one of those chits that gives you some new cards it's these tiny little incentives for learning the game it's really great Ooh, i get to go back and try to free some prisoners i'm gonna do that oh crap Success! Success! I did it! I did it. Rich probably didn't watch Wrestling, but Jack had a rat tail, so you know he was a fan. I did. I, I, I did watch wrestling. You watched wrestling too back in the day. Yeah, I was. I was a whole. I was a little Hulkamaniac. Yeah. Oh yeah. When I was a kid. You have earned this. Uh, first of all, I, I, when we were kids, everyone was a Hulkamaniac. That's just a thing. When that I was happens. a kid, like. I'm talking like the Hulk Hogan, Macho Man, uh, Rowdy Roddy Piper, uh, uh, Bobby the Brain Heenan, that yeah. era. Oh, yeah. Oh, I was all over that. Oh, God. Oh, when, Love that. When Rowdy, when Rowdy Roddy was in the arena, shit was getting real. <laughs> and then very briefly, I, I, I was watching WCW in like the 90s. They're doing the NWO stuff, but... Mm -hmm. Most of that was like a nostalgia thing at that point. I was like, oh, yeah, I remember these wrestlers. Oh, fuck yeah. The Bushwhackers. I loved the Bushwhackers. Oh, they were I, crazy. Oh, I hated, I hated yeah, they were just crazy. They were boring. <laughs> they were boring. <laughs> I am yeah, I get it. They're like animals. I get it. The crazy. The Bushwhackers. I, I haven't used this card yet. As you traverse a particularly tricky trail across a mountain ridge, you notice a dark ravine beneath you. Something glitters in the dim sunlight that reaches the base of that cavern. Climb down and take a look. In the gloom of the narrow canyon, you find the old remains of what a wooden cart. Apparently, having fallen down years ago, you find nothing of worth except a chunk of glittering metallic ore. Urban Vermin, thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. It might not Two sound so in much row. in its current state, but perhaps you can find someone who can use it. Ooh, great. That's the first time I've, I've gotten this card, people, so. I'm taking it, I'm taking it. I got the metal ore. I did it. I did it. All right, here we go. What were your best movies of last year? What came out last year? I don't even remember. Right? <laughs> I, re I remember Guardians of the Galaxy. That's what I remember. No, oh, Guardians is good. <coughs> yeah, it's a fine movie. Fine movie. Oh, did Winter Soldier come out last year? Yes. I'd put I'd put Winter Soldier above Guardians. Wait, was that last year or was it the year before? It might have been the year before. No concept of space or time. There were some good movies last year, I'm sure. Maybe. <laughs> what are your th What are your thoughts on Arkham Arkham Knight being rated mature? I don't give a shit. I don't give a shit about that. I, I kind of give a shit about the the possible spoiler I heard. But don't don't spoil. Yeah, I'm not gonna talk about that. Uh, Rich Rich and I are grown ass adults. We don't care for a game is rated M. <laughs> <laughs> 
My sister does. <laughs> My sister. I love her, but she's Another weird. Curse on this <laughs> she's weird. This is coming from me. When I call somebody weird, it means something. Mm -hmm. I was left these simple pieces, and from them I have built a palace. She, I was, I was, I was, a was at a restaurant with her the other day, that mm -hmm. few will ever reach and the end of. I, you know, will you be uh, uh, ordered a drink, and you know, uh, is Pepsi okay? No, no, it's not. She'd rather, she'd rather drink water than Pepsi, apparently. She's a Coke drinker through and through. It's, it's, it's fucking soda. Right. <laughs> Who gives a shit? Right? Oh, someone's mentioning some good movies. Uh, Snowpiercer. Did you see Snowpiercer last year? No. You what didn't, the fuck? You didn't see Snowpiercer? I did not see No, no. I don't see, I don't see many... Like, Jay and Mike are the ones who are always saying the new movies. Most of them, I don't really give a shit. I'm not going out of my way. Unless oh, something... Sure. Snowpiercer was pretty <sighs> good. Hey, hey, Rich, this subscriber is for you. Um, Did you read that? Danger Peanut! Thank you <laughs> for subscribing. We really appreciate it. Yeah, it's true. Uh, no, Snowpiercer was really fun. That, that was a neat little movie. Um... It's hard for me to just remember what came out, but yeah, I, I did not have time to read that wall of text. Yeah, I, I appreciate you posting more about the Monty Hall problem. Yeah, but I could not read that. <laughs> I did, uh, and actually, just this weekend, just last night, I saw I saw someone mention like in their list of best movies of last year. Just last night, I saw Edge of Tomorrow, that Tom Cruise. Uh, Groundhog Day meets Alien kind of thing. Pretty pretty mm -hmm. decent. Like the the best way to describe that movie is it's really great at how like middle of the road it is. It, it is a movie that will play forever on cable television, and everyone will be really happy about that. You know, it's like it's so simple. I, I, I... I wouldn't mind watching that one. That one actually does look good. Yeah, yeah, it's fun. It's got a neat premise and some good action. And I mean, Tom Cruise, Tom Cruise, man. and Lady is good too. I forget her name. And Lady, it's overrated. I'm calling it middling. I'm calling it perfectly middle of the road. <laughs> like that's not. I'm not heaping praise on it. Settle down. It's perfectly acceptable for a movie that will play on cable forever. Emily Blunt, thank you. Tobin the Gnome. Emily Blunt was in that. Very good. Ooh, I get the mace again. Mace deals more damage, but with the axe... Oh, wait, do I have my... I need to make sure I have my... Was that this run where I got the... Somebody has said that Edge of Tomorrow was based on or inspired by video game speedrunning. I could believe that. It's very... I could believe that. Yeah. It's very it's very much video game, the movie. But they handle it in a fun way. It's all It all has this kind of, like, smirk about it. And, you know, a lot of the deaths, as, you know, every time Tom Cruise dies, he wakes up again at the same time. A lot of the deaths are a little humorous. It's very good. Very... Very, very acceptable. <clears throat> that edge of tomorrow. What the fuck? But the important thing is, Jack. Yeah. When they ask you if you want Coke or Pepsi. Yeah. Why would you get indignant if it's Pepsi? <laughs> and Coke? Oh, I'm so sorry. I I messed. I I went right in the middle of your Pepsi and Coke story. Uh, you're right. Why? Why would you get indignant about it? Cola is no. cola. <laughs> if. <laughs> Yes. Here, well, here's the real question. Uh, imagine you went to a restaurant, and they said like, and you know, you you said like, uh, I'd like a Coke, and they said we only have, I don't know, what's like off brand, like Fago Cola, like we only have yeah. like off brand cola. Is that okay? Would would that be acceptable to you? Like we only have Royal Crown the, Cola. Okay. The proper answer is oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> that oh no. No, I'll have water. <laughs> that's what that's what your sister says. Basically, that's her attitude. According to your sister, it's like a water. It's, it's done. 
And she's a sweet girl. I'm not trying to make my sister look horrible. She's a sweet girl. It's funny. She's, you know, she's, she's a Mormon, so she's a little bit nutty. Hey. <laughs> a little bit nutty. But, but, just, just accept the soda they have. Don't, don't make a big, don't make, don't, don't. So calm down and don't make a scene. Don't, don't be angry. Don't, not the soda choice. Just, just drink, just drink the Pepsi. Or, or quietly, or it's like, oh, well, you know what, I'll have, I'll have the Sprite instead. You know, sure. you, can do that. you can do that. I'll have the Sprite instead, yeah, that's acceptable. Get out of here, Batman. She's a Mormon, yes, by choice. <laughs> by choice. I hate the fucking rat man. I hate the rat man. Gotta equip my axe. Great. <laughs> See, that's the thing. That's what I said, Telegon, is Mormons don't drink caffeine. Your sister is not supposed to be intaking caffeine, Rich. Mm -hmm. That's what I thought, too. Rich is going to have a talk with her. <laughs> well, she, she likes Coke, though. Coke has caffeine in it. She, well, okay. Maybe she's not a good Mormon. I don't know. <laughs> maybe she's not. Look, a maybe, good maybe Mormon. for all I for for all I know, Jack, she's not even a Mormon anymore because there's just kind of an unspoken agreement between us uh -huh. to never talk about religion. <laughs> unspoken, completely unspoken. Great. But I think we just both know better. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Um, in an old abandoned graveyard, the restless spirits sense the presence of a blessed soul and remain quiet. You spend oh, a peaceful night called, awakening. What? Somebody called Jack is Awesome says, Ex-Mormon here. No, caffeine isn't a rule, just a suggestion in the church. Oh, well, that's good to know. Oh, apparently I go to the graveyard and everything's cool. I know almost nothing about the Mormons. <laughs> I know I like pronouncing it Mormon. I'm not gonna talk about the Mormons. I don't want to sound like you know. I obviously mm -hmm. I've, I've 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 talked about being an atheist, but I don't right. want people to get the impression that I hate people who are, have faith. No, no. I don't care. I don't care. I don't. I really don't care what you believe. No. I joke about things every now and then because it's fun, and mm -hmm. I think I've been doing that a little bit too much lately. Maybe, so, you know, know, maybe a little much. Maybe trying to back back off from that. Trying to, hey, I really, we're cool with everyone. I have nothing against people no. who have faith mm -mm. and whatever. Just don't hurt anyone else. Did you ever see that... Uh, Wolf Blitzer uh, thing on CNN where there was like a tornado went through an area and he was he was interviewing one of the survivors. Oh, and it was like in the south. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, and I was like, yeah, I was like Oklahoma. I was yeah. like, uh, well, you, you and your family survived. I mean, just just thank the Lord. I mean, you must feel blessed. And she kind of like didn't like dodge the question. She didn't really say anything. You're like, mm -hmm. you're, you're blessed, really just blessed. Yeah. You, you do bless the Lord, right? Don't you? And she eventually just said, "You know, I'm 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 an atheist." And yeah, you know, that's okay. It's cool. It's cool. <laughs> you can bless. The Lord. And she was she was like, "That's the attitude everybody should have." Right. I mean, that was just that was just fucking awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It is. It. You know what? It is. Can I buy a blessing? No, these are all too expensive. Can I remove a curse? No, I cannot remove a curse. Get four dollars for my mace. Get four dollars for my rate mace, Rich. Good. <laughs> I'm sure you're for that. Jack doesn't know will be the next big RLM series. It would it would go on forever. There are so many things I don't know. How how you make mustard? That's that, I don't know how you do that. Do you just grind up mustard seeds? <laughs> I yeah yeah the last thing I want to know is how to make mustard. I want to know how to destroy mustard. <laughs> how do I un how do I unmake mustard? Just don't eat it. That's don't usually what it. I do. I think that's fine. That's Again, how you destroy it. And then it just goes bad. The token is at stake. The children were worn warmed by your generosity last time. Would you be willing to save a few lives again? 
I will give food to the priest. I will give him five food. Okay, I have one chance for success here, Rich. Mm -hmm. And I think it's this one. Yes! Good work, Jack. I Good did. work on that completely random guess. I, they shuffled twice, Rich. That's very, it's hard to keep track of the cards when they shuffle I know. twice. I know. <laughs> Dude, did, you, did you ever successfully pass very that Devil's nice Carnival indeed. token? Not all, not 100% success, success. I did a success fail. So you, never, you, never got, you, have, you haven't gotten the token for it? No, I have not gotten the Devil's Carnival token yet. I, I have. That one's a bitch. Yeah. Yeah. You have to get the the extreme success one twice in a row. Right, right, and like I've gotten yeah. through where I just like haven't gotten hurt or you know, and I've gotten I I did once where I got a fight in there, which was pretty cool. I, I got to fight on the carnival ground, which was a, a neat location. Ooh, this is a good one. Whenever the player eats food, they gain twice the usual healing. But I don't get the the token for that. It's fine. That's fine if you get your ass kicked a lot. The battlefield of honor. Oh yeah. Or at least a close approximation. Ooh, here we go. The Crucible. I think I like this one. <laughs> oh, wait. I could attempt to... Uh, I've never attempted to swim the river before. And there's a token. Why would you... Sink. Oh, no. You, get, you don't get the token for swimming the river. But I've entered the Crucible before and beat it, and I didn't get the token. Did you, you know, well, I can tell you, I can only tell you what I did. Okay. And I got the token, I get the token every time. Okay. I say every time because, yes, I have restarted the game to start it from scratch. Mm -hmm. uh, t pick the hardest possible enemy you can every time. That's what I did. Okay. And I got the token. Right, I've well. never not gotten the token when I restarted from scratch, which I'm insane and I've done that. Okay. Hardest enemy every time. Because I've, I've tried to no death run this game. Oh, really? Not all the yeah. way through story mode, or...? Yeah, st story mode. Oh, man. From that's, scratch. That's tough. Okay, four of dust. I can do four of dust. This is nothing. I got, I got a little little more than halfway through. Yeah. Yeah. All right, uh, Lizard64, you say the yeah. game looks fun, but this card bullshit is dumb. Uh, it, it's, it's different when you're playing the game. Yes. Unless you just hate card games in general, maybe. I don't know, but it's, it's actually strangely interesting. It, it makes w so much sense when you're playing. Like, you know, the cards are just there to set up what happens. It's, it's so... This game is one of the hardest to explain. <laughs> <laughs> I, saw, I saw a video on it, uh, Germa... 985 did a video on this game and that's how I found out about it and he couldn't explain it I can't explain it it's great though it's very satisfying um, the the cards are it's it's a little FTL a little Isaac a little <laughs> a little Batman it's great I don't know about I don't know about Isaac or FTL I don't know about that I think that's I think that's going a little bit crazy the the FTL is like the because the cards are almost like the the text read segments of FTL, where you yeah. have to make choices. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. You know, I I think it's a little FTL. Can you explain the Batman combat? Sure. So in Batman Arkham Asylum, what the fuck? Uh, which is the Batman game that I played, you have what? you have what? M M M Filippo Bruno. Thank you for subscribing. We really appreciate it. And Kreisk. Cro Croyus? Whatever the fuck your name is! Thank you for subscribing for six months in a row. We really appreciate it. It's true. We do really appreciate it. So, so you have... <laughs> what? Your sincerity was amazing. I re well, I was... I'm, I was they, you caught me mid-thought mid explaining oh, the I game, know I did, but I didn't want to scroll up and not be able to find him no, later. You're, no, you're right. Uh, of course I'm being sin sincere, but in any case, so... <laughs> The, the Batman combat goes like this. One button is your basic attack button. One button is your knockback button. Uh, and then you have roll away attack and um, counter. So 
knockback attack counter roll. And so whenever you see the green spider sense above an enemy, you hit the counter button and then you get to dodge an attack and counter attack. And in between that, you have to slash at enemies and roll away whenever there's like a red spider sense or when you think you're just going to get your ass handed to you. And then there are certain enemies that have shields, so you have to bash into them with the bash button and attack, attack. It's all, and it's all like a little slower than you think it would be. And so it has this very like deliberate pace to it that makes it feel very heavy and real. It's very nice. Oh wait, which would is you say it's? Would you say it's as good as the Arkham combat? I don't know if I'd go that far. As uh, I mean, I don't I, know that I go that far. I know you wouldn't go that far. I would because you get an axe, and it's the, Arkham, the you equipment don't get an axe. collecting makes it interesting. I yes, think. The, the the growth factor, finding you know finding the good armor, finding a good sword, finding a good uh, magic power. I mean that that adds a dimension to it with this card game thing yeah. that goes on, you know? See, and like you see here, like he has red spidey sense, which means that I can't counter that. So I just, just have like, to roll away. Just like red spidey sense in the Arkham games. Yes. I mean, basically it's it's exactly the same. Yes. So it's the, 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 the um, countering is less effective. In this any game. enemy that has a shield, you may as well not bother. Yeah, you have enemies. to shield. They're just gonna block. Yeah. You have you, to shield. You can't. You can technically counter their attack, but your sword's just gonna bonk off of their shield, and it's it's a waste. Yeah. Just dodge and. Which yeah. I think I think is kind of a shame. Just you run into a lot of shield enemies later on. Yeah. This the combat in this game is a little more brutal, which is why I say I like it more. I think that's fair. It's, yeah, it's a lot easier to clean house in the other games. Yeah. Yeah, and this this the combat feels so intense. In in the Arkham games, I feel bad when I get hit. <laughs> oh damn it! <laughs> you get hit a lot more in this. I like that. Don't let me down. Ooh, with I've, the with the, the, with the projectile the attacks, fuck? yeah, the enemies in this have no qualms like throwing two things at you at once. Like you, somebody will be chopping a sword while somebody's throwing, so that you know. Oh yeah. If you counter one, you're you're still gonna get hit. Absolutely, yeah. This is, and so Arca, like, Ar the Arkham games, they're all very happy to like attack you one at a time, <laughs> for the most yeah. part. So in this game, like it's really important to get up in people's faces and and keep them from. Ooh, oh, I could have countered him. This game, I, I play with a controller. I, I don't I don't hate controllers on principle. There's some types of games they work very well for. Like this, I play play the Arkham games with the controller. Play Crypt of the Necro Dancer with a controller. <laughs> Though typically, if aiming is involved, mouse and keyboard forever. Uh, strategy <laughs> game, mouse keyboard forever. Yeah. Like, I, I would never play XCOM with a controller. I would never play Master of Orion with a controller. I don't think you can play Master of Orion with a controller. <laughs> you could, with you could, I guess, with Joy to Key or some kind of program, but it would be awful. It would just be awful. Ooh, oh, man. This, this blessing that I have this run, this uh, gain three health with every axe kill, is, mm -hmm. uh, is, is the most overpowered thing in the world. It's great. Gained three health with every axe kill. Gained oh, is that one of the, the blessings? It's one of the blessings, and I have the axe equipped. So it's just like even if I get hit a couple times, I can gain it back. Oh, great. The, the, one, the one downside is I don't – at least I haven't encountered one yet. I don't think this is a really powerful axe. A lot of maces. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of maces. Of swords and iron. I haven't seen a super powerful axe yet, so maybe that's the trade-off. It is, I don't know. and I have a more powerful mace right now, but I have not. I don't have it equipped because I can, I can uh, gain health back. Oh, oh, I, oh, I did it, Rich. You were right. I got the, I got the token for beating all the dudes. Yeah, you pick the hardest ones every time. Yep. Okay. Now apparently I wasn't doing that. Maybe, maybe it doesn't get. Maybe I see. I've never picked the weaker enemies because I was. I was thinking maybe maybe you should pick the tougher ones. I'm sure. Just, 
I was trying to game the system a bit. So I, I always pick the tougher enemies, and I've always got the token. Oh, okay. So. Uh, Nico Cola, I am having a snack tonight. I'm having heart-healthy red wine. So, not a Work fun your snack way tonight. through the woods and see what lies beyond. But I enjoy it. Yeah, I've 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 played this game a lot since last week. I bought it that night because yeah. I, I the what you know you know what put me over the edge too on buying it. Huh. The fact that they had it on GOG before <laughs> that, you know, it's like the, the Steam version. I'm like, yeah, I don't know, maybe it'll be neat. Eh. I saw it on GOG. Oh, I'll pick that up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh no, did we demo weasel? Apparently, we missed demo weasels. What the fuck? We're so sorry, but thank you for subscribing, demo weasel. We we very much appreciate it. Though, you know, I gotta say, you should really stick it in, in there and be Demon Weasel. De uh, Demon Weasel would be a cool name, wouldn't it? <laughs> Demon Weasel? No, I, Demon I, think, Weasel. I think that would take away some of the cool. The, the some Weasel of the was cool. so a demon. Oh, no, because then you're like, <laughs> I'm a demon, I'm a dark demon, but I'm also a weasel. <laughs> I'm gonna get you. That's, that's, that's comedy. Uh, that's comedy. <laughs> Uh, what the shit. fuck's a demo weasel? What the fuck is that? I don't know. A, we a weasel with with a bomb strap to it? I don't know. A weasel you get to just try and discard? Maybe. That's three gold. That's fine. That's fine. What brings you to play? The Wouldn't game? want to be the demo prostitute. <laughs> Rich, have you played any Rogue Legacy? Like all the rest. A little bit. You are silent. Eh. I also. <laughs> I also feel eh about it. Didn't hate it. I didn't hate it. Yeah. But it was, was, was fine. It it seemed um it seemed like for a roguelike game, it seemed like it was doing its hardest to remove all of the roguelike elements, which was my I real problem with it. The secrets of your the, you pick up power ups as you go that kind of thing rather you know, than you can build how we're up after you die yeah you can build your own castle and so you could grind to level up you in order to reach certain enemies you'd have to lock down the castle just to, to make sure that you can get to that enemy quicker and then they were like locking down the castle just makes the randomization moot and okay yeah yeah so there there was like fun combat and and fun moving but i you know just wasn't my thing long ago we have the brotherhood forge holy weapons oh i think this is it this is, I, I i picked up that ore oh good and i think this is the holy forge they well, i don't i don't have that one unlocked they bestowed upon us one of the most powerful tools and but took our supplies including all the rare metal ore that we use to craft our weapons the king's army never returned after that day I know not what became of them in the years that followed. I have stayed here all these years, but only the ghosts remain to keep me company. Give the monk your sample or, yep, the monk's eyes widen in surprise, and he exclaims, By the old gods, where did you find that? He looks the metal ore over carefully. If you're willing to put in the hard work, stranger, together, we could fire up the old forge one last time. You spend several days with the old monk. By day, you toil together at the forge, and by night, you swap tales of your adventures for a share of what his food. What the fuck? Eventually, you hold the completed weapon in your hands. Pearl Monk! Thank you for subscribing. We very much appreciate it. Fractal Packard is basically asking me if I'm sick of hot dogs from Space Comp. <laughs> and you know, it's... It's it's not like Space Cop is eating a hot dog in every single shot he's in. Uh, spoiler. I think it was only like, I think it was only like one day where I had to eat like a lot of hot dogs for whatever shot it was. Okay. All right. So no, no, I never eat. I never ate hot dogs that often to begin with, and I'll probably eat them exactly as often as I did before. Holy shit! I haven't eaten hot. I haven't eaten hot dogs as much since I came up here because I can't find. Uh, uh, Vienna beef hot dogs up here. Uh, have you, like, there's have, no point. Have there's you checked no point. right around the corner from the studio? What what place is this? Where there's oh, a... that, that one we went to the other day? 
That grocery store? That no, no, no. There is a hot dog place, <laughs> right? They sell prepackaged hot dogs. Oh no, they sell hot dogs. They sell great. They, they make hot dogs. They're like a hot dog. I'm restaurant. looking for something you can buy in a store. Oh yeah, you or else down in Chicago, you can buy Vienna hot dogs in a grocery store. Or else that grocery store we went to has them. Absolutely. So rich, this weapon is the battle hammer. Right now, my axe does 25 damage. The battle hammer does 40. Yeah. And you can string together consecutive combos, and the yep. higher your combo, the, be the better the damage, and left bumper to unleash a powerful explosion. That is okay. a mighty weapon, but now I no longer heal with, uh, with it. What's your, well, here's the thing. Well, you, you use your lion brain. Yeah. Lion brain giant. Oh, I've You're probably at full health. I'm You're at, at full, full health, health. right? Absolutely. Use the battle hammer. If you, you get to a point where you're low on health, then yeah. switch to the arcs. Oh, absolutely. So careless with your Use logic. I've, I've already done Follow. that. I just wanted to This is you what you know. get for not being a fan of Leonard Nimoy. <laughs> I am a fan of Leonard Me? Nimoy. Me? Right away. What is what is the logical thing to do in this situation? Oh, yes. Well, I will use the hammer until I need health, and then I will switch to the axe. 